football ground, all of us as in days of yore. The Jacob Ram on patrol, the atmosphere both vibrant and expectant for all the tasks which faces their side against a team whose supporters believe that this would be a fitting year for Manchester United to win the FA Cup. Derby County feeding the strongest side available to them in the FA Cup competition. Most importantly, Archie Gemmell passed fit after trouble with a hamstring injury. Not surprisingly, Manchester United stick with the side which demolished Arsenal in the Milk Cup in midweek. And on the field are three survivors of the last meeting between these two sides in the FA Cup semi-final in April 76. On the Manchester United side, Steve Coppel. And for Derby County, Steve Powell and the man who's now the skipper, Archie Gimmel. Well, the years have gone by, Jackie Stamps now 64 and sadly blinded but a regular visitor to the baseball ground the team he served so well as a player including scoring two goals in the 1946 FA Cup final the referee this afternoon is Brian Daniels of Brentwood in Essex here's Mike Brolly Gordon McQueen, Crawley again. Kevin Moran, Mike Duxbury. Cut out by Gemmel. Mills didn't give it enough weight. Typical cup tie start, and the free kick given for the challenge by Steve Buckley who got in pretty harshly then on Steve Coppel Duxbury Brian Robson feeding Coppel again once more to test Buckley and Powell slips oh and the goalkeeper makes a marvellous save from Stapleton Steve Cherry was exposed then because Steve Powell slipped and Cherry somehow managed to increase his reach to the eye Frank Stapleton. And just got out of harm's way by Mills. Muren, Duxbury. Muren has gone wide to the left. Swindlehurst in company. Robson. Alveston. Wide side. That's a good turn. He was being held and a good save. And the foot of Buckley got there first. Wide side was surely being pulled by Powell, but was allowed to go on, got the shot in. Cherry got down well, but needed Buckley to rescue him. Copper. Moses. Foster. But Derby having a pretty torrid time. They cannot clear their lines. Alberston. Ten minutes gone, and United have the tie by its throat at the moment. McQueen, Moses, lovely turn, and here's Koppel, and Buckley again, the man to save the goal, lovely turn by Moses, totally changed the direction of the attack, found Koppel, and again, Buckley cleared in front of the vacant goal.
Right side on the near post. Off Pal. Muren and Foster stay back, but the linesman on the pitch has indicated the offside decision, which has in fact been given. Could hardly do anything else because the linesman have walked right onto the pitch. Jackie Stamps listening to the broadcast of the hospital's broadcasting setup. They have to be his eyes now. McQueen. Oh, that could be a problem. And that's obstruction clearly by McQueen and given. McQueen protests that there was an elbow used, but he had no intention at all of playing the ball, and he knows it. He's pulled it back a little further than uh, I would have thought it was correct, but even so. Now Buckley could have a strike, and does. And fed out like a scrum half by Bailey. Fortunately for him, the cross wasn't the good one that followed. And suddenly, Derby are having their moment. And there may be more to follow. Moran, just one half error and suddenly the underdogs change the position of hands on the throat. Swindlehurst, that's nice if he can take it, and he can, he being Rolly. And has he got the corner? Yes, he has. Foster's come forward. Bailey takes well this time and ends what he in fact started by not holding the original shot. threatening to come from further back and they can now pick their position for the corner for which John Barton now takes the near post having a few seconds ago cleared off the line on the far it's Mike Raleigh who's got the far post and in between the two Gordon McQueen Stapleton white side and the header from Koppel goes wide As the man who returned and has rekindled the atmosphere of the time when he was here with the real Brian Clough, Peter Taylor. Stapleton, Gamble, that's the safest place. Alveston, Robson's gone to the middle, Foster's header, Coppel. Mike 
Mbappe is giving him a bit of room again. But back down the cross. McQueen in the centre of the goal. Stapleton now alongside him. McQueen. Robson. Blocked by Gemmel. And the second shot blocked by two or three bodies. And they bring the ball from under right Cherry. Robson denied. The referee has one check of the watch. It's been the couple of seconds for injuries, but not much. Gemmel. Mills. Quarry. Up comes Barton. They couldn't keep it in. And one young lady policeman loses her hat in the action. And the crowd rise to their feet. There have been no goals in this opening half, but it's been crammed full of incident and obviously has been thoroughly enjoyed. Steve Cherry taking his position at an end where the pressure of the crowd seems to be being felt rather greatly. Capacity crowd of 34,700. Record receipts of 108,000 pounds. So Manchester United, four to one second favourites. Let's get the second half underway. Derby the 100 to 1 outsiders this is Arnold Muren Alveston and uh, free kick against that challenge by John Barton here's Whiteside met by Buckley Not a bad effort by Arthur Alderson. And the management team together. Peter Taylor in the raincoats and Roy McFarlane to his left. chances that have been there, Ron Atkinson. Stapleton. Right side, there's a bit more space here, and here's Koppel. Muren. Robson. And Gemmel on the counter. It's actually three against three. Three United players coming back at great speed. And one of them was Alveston, who catches Gemmel in possession. Barts off the ball seen as an obstruction by the referee not a charge so the free kick is indirect Koppel blocked away by Powell who was about four yards off the ball when the shot was finally taken but now Koppel right side, far side this is the best chance of the match and it's made to count Four minutes and Whiteside leaves Foster and Cherry in dejection. And the supporters who have come down from Manchester in utter delight. At long last, all their possession put something on the score sheet. And 
Whiteside is the scorer. There's Gemmel. Well, they must have hoped for so long. The possibility of the replay. They're never sure they've been able to hope for much more than that. Robson. Alberson. Oh, the Derby crowd responding well. Buster across. Just five minutes remaining. We want to make their substitution. Kevin Wilson is the man to be replaced. And John McCall comes on. Ron Atkinson talking there with his chairman. Must see half a vision at least of those famous tiles. Stapleton, Moses, Muran, oh, an amazing escape, first off Crawley and then off Barton, Muran once more and Barton once more and it's a corner. And they cleared off the line once in the first half, Buckley did so twice and the balance of play, Derby can't complain of their efforts to defend in the end they're going to count for nothing they're entitled to feel disappointed that is like this one power covers white side Muran corner through to round six. It's the first time that they've been to this round since they went to Wembley in 79 to lose to Arsenal. Andy Hill. Turned away by McQueen. There was life yet in Derby County. Everybody comes forward into the area trying to grab a priceless equaliser not only in terms of pride as the captain stands up not only in terms of pride but in terms of the money that would be so welcome from a replay so they're looking very much there like the captain on his ship Mills with the corner and it's a good one but it's well claimed very well held by Gary Bailey. That close, maybe. I doubt it. And United are through. It was very hard work for them. But the 11,000 who came down have had their reward. It was hard work for them because of some staunch defending by Derby County, in particular by Steve Powell, because of their own inabilities. Part and parcel of the club's future. Um, didn't see any particular role from him, apart from in terms of, I know what he can do as a natural competitor. You're now seeing he's a far better footballer than people imagined, and by circumstances he's getting, he's got in the side and he's playing tremendous. McQueen, Moses, lovely turn, and here's Koppel, Buckley again, the man 
to say it's a goal. Lovely turn by Moses. That's the creative side to Remy's play, but it's his ability to win the ball and regain possession which has really caught the eye and given United a better balance. Not surprisingly, the tenacious terrier-like style has led to comparisons being made with former United hero Nobby Styles. A fair comparison? Judge for yourself. This cross is punched clear, but United remain under pressure. That is, until Nobby nips in and wins the ball, and then waits until Dennis Law provides support. Certainly Ron Atkinson sees a similarity. I remember talking to Dennis Law a few weeks ago, because Dennis Law's a big Moses fan, talking about uh, Remy. And he said he, he made that exact comparison, and in actual fact, uh, he said it might well be that, that this little fellow's a bit quicker than Nobby was. And supporting that theory, this little sprint to receive the ball from Stapleton before setting up a chance for Muren. Where does Remy feel his strength lies? At the moment, I think it's the tackling side of it. People say that side. I think that is the biggest strength. The willingness to work and to try and be involved all the time. Well, you couldn't get a better example than this of Remy's involvement and competitiveness. But does he consider tackling an art? I think to do to a degree. But um, playing in the midfield, a midfield player to me should be able to tackle as well as play a bit and try and get forward and score goals. At the moment, my scoring rate's not very high. I'd like to try and improve on it.